Unfortunately, we don't know the causes of breast cancer. Breast cancer happens sporadically in the female community. About one out of 10 women will develop breast cancer. Of those women who develop breast cancer, a very small number develop breast cancer because they have a genetic predisposition to develop the breast cancer. Most women who develop breast cancer have no family history and there's no identifiable cause and effect reason for them to have developed breast cancer. Some of the symptoms of breast cancer are an enlargement in the breast, a palpable abnormality in the breast, bleeding from the nipple. Breast pain is oftentimes thought to be a symptom of breast cancer but is only very rarely associated with breast cancer. You can also see a change in the contour of the breast when the woman raises her arms, a portion of the breast um, puckers in instead of keeping the normal contour. In the modern era, most breast cancers are now identified through a screening test. So most patients should be seeing their doctors on a regular basis and getting regular screening mammograms. There is some controversy currently about when women should start mammography and how frequently they should get it. But the bottom line is that they should be seen by their doctor and have a discussion with their doctor regarding screening and then get appropriate screening for their risk level. There are many health benefits that can decrease the risk of breast cancer. First, keeping a low weight keeping a BMI below 30 decreases the risk of breast cancer by 30 percent. Refraining from alcohol intake, limiting it to three or four glasses of alcohol a week also cuts the risk of breast cancer by 10 percent. Just being active, women who come home and sit on a couch for three hours have a 20 percent increase in the risk of breast cancer versus people who come home from work and are actually up and mobile. Smoking has a significant impact on the development of breast cancer, particularly if smoking begins uh, before the time of the first birth. Hormone replacement therapy is another issue that's been well-defined. Uh, combination estrogen and progesterone hormone replacement therapy taken for over 10 years is a significant risk factor to develop breast cancer. 